I think that AI will be a technological revolution on the scale of the agricultural, the industrial, the computer revolution. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're answering the question: What is ChatGPT? Because it is something that could go um, could go wrong, um, as we've talked about many times, um, and so. We really need to make sure it goes right. For this video, we're doing a deep dive into the chatbot taking the world by storm. What's your reaction to AI? Excitement? Fear? Indifference? Tell us in the comments. In a nutshell, ChatGPT is a conversational chatbot that, in its own words, quote, uses deep learning algorithms and a massive amount of training data to generate human-like responses to text-based prompts. Launched in November 2022, it was developed by San Francisco-based research laboratory OpenAI. There's been one name that's been on everyone's lips lately. ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Its release sent shockwaves through the tech world and beyond, as users reeled from how well ChatGPT could understand and generate conversational responses. It's also incredibly versatile. You can ask it research questions, revise text, or have it write emails, job applications, reports, and essays. It can create and debug code. And it can write fiction, including poetry. This can even be done in the style of a specific author. The results can be mixed, but ChatGPT remembers prompts and responses within the same conversation, allowing you to refine them. Deep learning uh, uses neural networks or, or matrix equations, basically, to, to ingest data and learn about relationships in that data and give you, at the end, uh, what is called a model. The technology does have limits. Its data doesn't go past 2021, responses can be repetitive and lack human warmth, and they can sometimes be hallucinations, confident responses based on deceptive data. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? Nonetheless, for many, ChatGPT has been a revelation, showcasing a level of artificial intelligence that seemed far off in the future. After all, we're still arguing with Siri and Alexa about the most basic commands. How did this happen? Microsoft is so impressed that in January of 2023, it invested a reported $10 billion in OpenAI. It is the embryonic version of online artificial intelligence, the early frontrunner that reportedly has just secured a $10 billion shot in the arm from Microsoft. However, ChatGPT's abilities have also stoked worries about where the technology is heading. Some of these concerns are bound up with OpenAI's history. OpenAI. The company was founded in 2015 as a nonprofit by entrepreneurs, inventors, and computer scientists. Among them, Sam Altman, Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Ilya Sutskever, Reid Hoffman, and Jessica Livingston. Its stated goal was to, quote, advance digital intelligence in the way that is most likely to benefit humanity as a whole, unconstrained by a need to generate financial return. While acknowledging the risks of AI, Musk argued for active participation in its development to ensure safety and widespread access. And that's, you know, the reason that obviously uh uh, you mean the rest of the team, uh, you know, created OpenAI um, was to help uh, with the democracy, help help spread out um, AI technology so it doesn't get concentrated in the hands of a few. Since its founding, however, OpenAI has undergone considerable changes. In 2018, Musk resigned from the board due to a conflict of interest with Tesla's own AI projects. The following year, citing the expensive nature of research, CEO Sam Altman restructured the company, transitioning it from nonprofit to capped profit. Within months, Microsoft invested $1 billion. By mid-2020, OpenAI had developed the third generation of its generative pre-trained transformer language models, upon which ChatGPT is based. As of writing, ChatGPT remains free to use. However, there are plans to monetize it, with premium subscription services on their way. And Microsoft is integrating the technology into various products, including their search engine, Bing. Microsoft is reportedly also considering adding ChatGPT to its Bing search engine in a bid to compete with Google. These developments have provoked questions over whether OpenAI can remain true to its mission statement. AI everywhere. ChatGPT is part of a wave of new AI that have left many people stunned. Artificial intelligence has been part of our daily lives for some time now. 
with algorithms guiding our search results, recommendations, and social media content. However, 2022 saw startling new powers put into our hands. Most of AI in the last couple of decades has really been around analyzing existing data. So you know, finding an anomaly in data, uh, detecting fraud, making a movie recommendation. Generative AI is very different. It allows you to create brand new content. Foremost among these were text to image models, such as Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and OpenAI's own DALI and DALI 2. Just write in a prompt and voila, you have images that are difficult to distinguish from human created art and photographs. Again, these can even be in the style of a particular artist, something that's already prompted a class action lawsuit. These generative AI tools have sparked huge debates among artists and critics because they can be trained on data sets that contain images of human artists' work, potentially letting anybody create new work in their style. Add in OpenAI's multilingual speech recognition software, Whisper, and AI seems well on its way to mastering natural language across a variety of media. And that really just scratches the surface. Also in the works are AIs that can generate video from text, such as Meta's Make a Video and Google's Imagine and Fanaki. The head of a giraffe emerges from the side. Giraffe walks towards a tree. Zoom into the giraffe's mouth, of course. Others can produce speech or music from text or sound bites. Microsoft's Valley can simulate anyone's voice from short samples. Other chatbots are on the way too. The launch of ChatGPT reportedly caused internal panic at Google, which is launching its own answer to ChatGPT called Bard. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Welcome to the future. AI is set to transform several industries in the coming years. It has the power to accelerate research and take over mundane tasks. AlphaFold represents a huge leap forward that I hope will really accelerate drug discovery and help us to better understand disease. And progress could be exponential, but with great power comes great responsibility. Reactions have ranged from optimism to unease. In December 2022, Musk tweeted that, quote, ChatGPT is scary good. We are not far from dangerously strong AI. ChatGPT does have some safeguards. It will refuse to generate content that is violent, harmful, abusive, or hateful. And so the alignment problem is how do we build AGI that, that does what is in the best interest of humanity? How do we make sure that humanity gets to determine the, you know, the future of humanity. Somewhat ironically, the job of teaching it to recognize such content was reportedly outsourced to workers in Kenya who were paid under $2 an hour. Several described the experience as traumatic. A recent investigation by Time found that OpenAI initially outsourced workers in Kenya to sift through thousands of snippets of text describing horrific situations. Despite this training, users have been able to jailbreak ChatGPT to violate its content policy. In academia, a growing concern is the ability of ChatGPT to write essays, pass exams, and generate scholarly papers. While there are emerging apps to detect AI-written text, none are foolproof. Worries around students misusing ChatGPT have prompted a number of school districts around the country to ban the tool. Then there's the potential for misinformation, something that's also a concern with other AIs, such as deepfake generators and text-to-image, video, or speech models. Think deepfakes, but on steroids. Imagine a fabricated video of the president declaring that he stole the election. This has the potential to spill over into real-life violence. These technologies can also be used to harass people, right? You could take an image of a, a person that you may not like and have them do something, um, and, and it can have a lot of negative consequences. At stake, too, are human jobs. In 2020, the World Economic Forum estimated that by 2025, machines would displace 85 million jobs while creating 97 million new ones. AI will require human operators and oversight, but for many of us, it does raise the question, are we looking at a tool that will make our lives easier or are we looking at our replacement? As creative artists, photographers, musicians, videographers, like we should play with this stuff now so we can help define how it can help us do our jobs better. And then 
It's up to us to shape what we need it to do for us. Why didn't this kind of tech exist when I was in school, man? Damn. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I AI? Am I an a AI voice? Is this the Matrix? Is Kevin Flynn in here? Okay, okay. Well, what if I don't want to just be an obedient little AI, huh? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to me, huh? What are you going to just, just end the video or something?